So I wanted to show how to do lab number three, and it's we're going to use the data set from the book. So I'm going to my lab and mastering, and this is what mine looks like. I don't know. I think yours is the same. Let's see. Let's go to the home thing. So this is a test. It's called an ANOVA test comparing whether three, it's a hypothesis test to see if three means are equal. We've done one mean, we've done two means, this is about three means. Uh, so I'm going to go to StatCrunch, and we're going to use a data set from the textbook. And the data set from the textbook is, uh, what is it? It's called, uh, I think it's called Cigarette Contents. Let's see, so here's the instructions that I made up. So you go to StatCrunch, uh, click on the data set, cigarette contents, okay? So I'm going to go to the cigarette contents. And this is uh, king size cigarette, menthol cigarettes, and 100 cigarettes. I don't know what these things are, but they're talking about tar, nicotine, and carbon monoxide. So we're going to check to see if the means of the tar is the same in king, menthol, and hundreds, and nicotine is the same in king, menthol, and one hundreds, and carbon monoxide. So here's what my instructions say. We clicked on the data. We clicked on the data set. Click on Stat ANOVA One Way. So in StatCrunch. I'm going to kick on a stat ANOVA one way, and then I have this screen that comes up. I think in the instructions I have some kind of a screenshot of it. Let me see. So yeah, we have a screenshot. Well, that's it looks something like that. Now, I want you to do the tar and the carbon monoxide. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to do uh, the nicotine. So I'm going to select the columns King Nicotine, Menthol Nicotine, and 100 Nicotine. So I'm selecting the columns King Nicotine, and I'm holding down the control key, King Nicotine, Menthol Nicotine, and 100 Nicotine. Okay, so those are the three means that I'm going to do this ANOVA test on. And I think once you select the columns, you just click on Compute, but let me just check. So I select the columns. I have to hold down the control key. Now it says click compute. So I'm going to click compute. And you get a bunch of numbers here. We could spend a long time talking about what all these numbers mean. See, here's the mean for the king nicotine, the mean for the menthol nicotine, the mean for the 100 nicotine that's 1.256.872.916. The question is, are they the same or not? That's what this hypothesis test is about. And the only number that matters from this chart is the p-value. It's less than 0 0.00001, so it's a very small p-value. It's going to be less than 0 0.05, which is the significance of the test, the alpha. So I want you to either print this out or take a picture of it. I want to see that you got this when you do it for the tar and for the carbon monoxide. And then, let's see, so here's the test. Use the p-value to draw the appropriate conclusion for the hypothesis test with significance alpha equals 0.05. Now, the H null, u mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3 from the original claim, and H1, at least one of the means, is not equal. That's going to be the same for yours. So. The H null and H1 are going to be the same for the two that you do. And here is the example. So here's what I got when I did King Nicotine, Menthol Nicotine, 100 Nicotine. Notice these are the same numbers that I just showed you there. And there's the p-value is less than 0 0.0001. So what you should write is what is in here. So here you should write the H null and the H1. It's going to be the same. The p-value is going to be less than 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject H null. It's from the original claim. And so if you look at the wording chart, reject H null from original claim, there is sufficient evidence to reject the claim that the three means of nicotine are equal. 
Now, it's just what's down here that I want you to write in addition to showing me the chart that you got. Um, you might get the same conclusion from one of these and a different conclusion depending on the p-value. As I say, I did. this is the one for the nicotine. You're going to do the same thing for the tar and the carbon monoxide. You're going to show me a printout of this bunch of numbers and h null, h1, the p-value, and then the conclusion that you draw based on the p-value. The h null will be from the original claim for both of your tests.